Hello grade threes and a very warm welcome back to the language or English lesson. Um, I'm going to be covering suffixes now. Yesterday we did prefixes and today we're going to do suffixes. So let's get on with it. Right, so here is our first slide um, brought to you by worksheet cloud.com and there is the email address that you can use to email me if there are any problems with this lesson. Right, as I said, suffixes is what we're dealing with today and there's our happy group again, our grade three bunch of guys all happy and smiling. Right, I wrote a poem again for you. I love writing poems, so I have quite a lot of fun doing this. Let me read it through and see what you think a suffix is. If you think of yesterday, a prefix is a word or a few little words that you put in front of a, another word to make the meaning change. Uh, now, what do you think a suffix could possibly be? So let me read my poem and um, you can let me know or you can think about it in your head. Sorry, you can't let me know. I'm a little word, but I do my bit. I go to the back, and there I sit. I tag a few letters at the end of words. I make help become helpless. How absurd. Paint becomes painting. Cat light comes from cat. Spoon changes to spoonful. Now that's a fact. I make loud become loudly, and that's not all. Small becomes smaller, and taller comes from tall. Suffixes are easy when you know how. I'm really quite important, and so I'll take a bow. So, what do you think? Where does the little suffix go? Let's have a look. I'm going to read it again. I'm a little word, but I do my bit. I go to the back, and there I sit. I tag a few letters at the end of words. I make help become helpless. How absurd. Paint becomes painting. Cat light comes from cat. Spoon changes to spoonful. Now, that's a fact. I make loud become loudly, and that's not all. Small becomes smaller, and taller comes from tall. Suffixes are easy when you know how. I'm really quite important, and so I'll take a bow. So, you know what suffix is. There it is. There they are in red. So help becomes helpless, which means you not you can't help yourself. Cat is like, it becomes cat-like. You become like a cat. Spoon, sp spoonful, meaning that you have a spoonful of something and loud becomes loudly. It goes from a verb to an adverb describing what verbs are all about. So, the definition now, suffix is a letter or a group of letters added to the end of a word to make a new word and change its meaning. Let's look at some, some suffixes now in a little bit more detail. Less means without, helpless. Full means plenty of, spoonful. Like means similar to, cat-like. And a li or l y means how something is done. So if you talk loudly, what are you doing? Not softly, but loudly. Right, let's match the words in the box with the suffixes in the table. And we're going to use these words in the little box. Let's go for it. Right, useless. Hello grade threes once again and a very warm welcome to your English lesson today. I uh, hope you're going to enjoy it. Welcome to Worksheet Cloud, your English lesson for today and just a reminder that uh, there's an email address that you can see on this slide and you can use that to email me while I am teaching this lesson if you are worried about anything um, in the lesson, to do with the lesson, and you need me to explain a little bit more. If you email me, I will then 
email or get back to you and help you along with this. So let's get on with it, shall we? Today, we are focusing on suffixes. Can you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Can you remember the word? It wasn't a suffix, it was a prefix. Well done. And what is a prefix? It is a letter or a small word that is put in front of another word and it then changes the um, meaning. And there we are again, our happy grade 3 family. Suffixes. Yes, you write, I wrote another poem. And I'd love to see if you guys could write your own poem about something. Because it's quite a lot of fun, you know. And you don't have to be really complicated. I just kept it really simple. You can rhyme it if you like, but you don't have to. So let's read this through. And I'm going to see if you can understand by the end of the little poem what a suffix actually is. I'm a little word, but I do my bit. I go to the back. And there I sit. I tag a few letters at the end of words. I make help become helpless. How absurd. Paint becomes painting. Cat-like comes from cat. Spoon changes to spoonful. Now that's a fact. I make loud become loudly. And that's not all. Small becomes smaller. And taller comes from tall. Suffixes are easy when you know how. I'm really quite important and so I'll take a bow. Now, do you have any idea of where a suffix would go? I'm going to read it again and I'll bring in the suffix pairs or partners. You can read aloud with me with lots of expression. Shall we do this together? Ready? What is a suffix? I'm a little word, but I do my bit. I go to the back, and there I sit. I tag a few letters at the end of words. I make help become helpless. How absurd. Paint becomes painting. Cat-like comes from cat. Spoon changes to spoonful. Now that's a fact. I make loud become loudly, and that's not all. Small becomes smaller, and taller comes from tall. Suffixes are easy when you know how. I'm really quite important, and so I'll take a bow. Here come the other suffix pairs or partners. Cat becomes cat-like. Spoon becomes spoonful, and loud becomes loudly. Can you list the suffixes in the poem for me? The first one is less. The next one is like, full, and leave. And you didn't need that clue, although they are the ones in red. So the definition now, a suffix is a letter or a group of letters added to the end of a word to make a new word and change its meaning. Let's have a look at them in a little bit more detail now. Less means without. So if I'm helpless, I don't have any help. Full means plenty of. Spoonful means I don't have a teaspoonful. I have a spoonful of medicine. Hope not. Like becomes means similar to, as in cat -like. So if I say she's cat-like, it means she walks quite stealthily like a cat. And Lee means how something is done, like loudly. I don't sing quietly, I sing loudly. Let's match the words in the box with the suffixes in the table. So that's the table. 
and each column has a suffix in it. The first one is a column, the first column has got less, which means without. The second column has got the like suffix, which means similar to. Full is plenty of. Do you notice that the full has not got a double L at the end? And Lee is how something is done. And here is our box of words. So these words are where we, what are the words we're going to use to add our suffixes to. For instance, the word use would, would have to have a suffix added to it, but now we have to decide which of the suffixes we are going to add to that word. We can't just add any old suffix to any word. That wouldn't be worth anything at all. So use becomes useless. I'm not useful, I'm useless. Helpless means I don't have any help. So there we have got um, there is help becomes helpless. Use becomes useless. Careless means I, I'm not that careful. I've, I'm careless. I'm without care. If I'm childlike, if I'm an adult and I'm childlike, it means I act like a child sometimes. Ladylike? Well, most of us girls need to act ladylike most of the time. So you have the word lady and you add the suffix of like to the end of it and it becomes ladylike and it describes how a lady should be. Lifelike. Life like you can uh, a picture can be life like it can be so good that it looks like it's real. Now our full words made by our full suffixes. Here we have boast becomes boastful. No, that's not a nice way to be, is it, guys? We don't boast. We're not boastful. We are humble. The next word is peaceful, and you added f u l onto the end of the word peace, which makes it peaceful. Peaceful is a lovely word. Painful. Oh my goodness, if we hurt ourselves. Um, I stubbed my toe the other day and it was painful. In other words, it was full of pain. And now the la words, the L-Y suffix. In other words, how something is done. Right, there's the first one. That is, comes from the word bad. And if I do something badly, I have added L-Y onto the word bad and made it badly. And it's, it describes how I do something. Quietly, we've added L-Y onto the word quiet. And I do something quietly, not loudly. And there is quickly, coming from obviously the word quick. Um, so if we add ly to quick, it becomes quickly. Um, and I tend to do quite a lot of things quickly and sometimes a bit, I'm a bit careless. And there we have it, girls, our table of suffixes. Well done. Now you know that a suffix is a, a, a little small word that is put at the end of words and it changes that word's meaning. So it's different from a prefix. It's like the opposite of prefix. Prefix goes at the beginning of words. And these are little words, remember. And they always help you to understand meanings of words. So if you know what the suffix means and the prefix means, like useless or it comes with the, the L-E-S-S -S means without and lack -like means similar to and F-U-L means plenty of, then you can have a good chance of understanding a word that you've never seen before. Okay, so let's read this together again because I think it's quite fun. Right, I'm a little word, but I do my bit. I go to the back and there I sit. I tag a few letters at the end of words. I make help become helpless. How absurd. 
Paint becomes painting. Ketla comes from cat. Spoon changes to spoonful. Now that's a fact. I make loud become loudly and that's not all. Small becomes smaller and taller comes from tall. Suffixes are easy when you know how. I'm really quite important and so I'll take a bow. Right, everybody. For those of you who have time, and I think you probably do, and if you enjoy drama, like I asked you when we did prefixes, I suggested you do this, because I know that the children I teach love drama. They love to act, they love to get dressed up, and they like to perform on stage. Then perhaps you would like to learn this little poem off by heart. You could put actions to it, you could dress up, you could be real character-filled, and you could present it to your teacher and your classmates when we all get back to school. You could do a little bit of teaching yourself. And you could say, this is what I learned when I was on lockdown. How about that? Um, grade threes. Also, remember that you can do uh, your worksheet or your, your task sheet at the end of this lesson, um, which you can then um, download. I will also save this poem to the worksheet section, which you can download and print after the lesson, just in case you would like to um, have some fun and, and, and learn it off by heart and put some drama or dramatize it. Thank you so much for listening to me today and for being with me and spending this time with me and for paying attention for all this time. I'm loving teaching you and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a lovely, lovely day. Stay safe. Be kind. See you later. Bye.